So Jessica, Ridley Scott has very strong female characters in so many of his films. How does Melissa Lewis fit into this tradition? Well, Ridley Scott is a filmmaker who's always redefined gender roles in his movies. Alien was originally written for a man and he changed the role to a woman and it's actually, in my opinion, it makes the film a classic and far greater than it would have been if it was a man because then it would have been a similar story to what we've seen many times. Uh, he also did Thelma and Louise. He's, he's a wonderful director and uh, he was on my bucket list, people I wanted to work with. and. To get to do a space movie with him, he's right in the zone with space movies, so it was kind of a dream come true. And Tracy, what did you learn about filmmaking from your time spent with Jessica and Ridley? Oh, wow. Well, um, I would say uh, that they make space look fun in, <laughs> in, in filmmaking. Um, is it fun in real life? There, there's, there are definitely fun parts to it. It's a lot of work and, and things don't happen quite as fast as they do in a movie. Um, and so uh, there's a little bit of um, a sweat that goes on that um, you don't see all the work that goes into what they do. But as I've learned about filmmaking, it can be actually harder <laughs> uh, to, 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 to float in space than it is actually uh, mm. when you're in space. It takes a lot of work. and. Creating the zero gravity. Creating the zero gravity and all the considerations so that you make it look real. I think mm -hmm. that's actually harder, so that's what I learned. <laughs> <laughs> and Jessica, what was the most significant thing that you learned from Tracy? I learned so much. I don't know if I could think about the most significant thing. Uh, probably one of the most significant things was the connection and how important it is uh, to remind yourself of your relationships on Earth when you're out there. I noticed she was wearing a wedding ring when we, when we were um, working together. I don't know why, I just assumed people in space didn't wear jewelry. And my character in the film is married, so I asked her, do you wear your ring in space? And she said, absolutely. Things like that that connected the human part of what it is to actually leave the planet and um, separate yourself from your loved ones and how it, important it is um, to remind yourself of your reason for coming home. That was actually really moving for me to learn that part. And then Tracy, what do you hope audiences take away from The Martian as far as their perception of astronauts in space? Is it accurate or? <laughs> There's no diapers, listen. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know if you'll ever see a space movie where the characters wear diapers under their suits. There's, but they're supposed to. There's a reality that is not depicted in, in filmmaking when it's it comes so to... It's not so glamorous. There are, there are some very unglamorous uh, <laughs> moments in space and they're thankfully not, not uh, the things that we highlight. Um, but mm -hmm. what um, I hope people take home is just what Jessica said, is the human element of this. Because if it were just robots that we were sending, then it would be hard for everybody to imagine themselves in that place but we're doing this so that we can not only learn more about ourselves but to explore and we don't want to do that alone we want to do that with people and um, the the thing I enjoyed the most about the film was the way that they depicted the connection that the humans in space had with the humans at home whether it was through work or family that's very accurate mm. to what uh, we do in space. We have our job, but we also have that personal connection. So, Thank you both so much.